where can we where can we get gamma glutamylcysteine? Yeah, so yeah, and that's when I thought, oh well, maybe that would have some benefit. Where can I get it? And um, at the time when I became, you know, you know, in the twenty years ago, mm -hmm. became aware mm -hmm. of the the role of glutathione depletion in all of these chronic diseases, and you know, considering that gamma glutamylcysteine might be a solution to that. Um, I started to look for where I could find it so I could mm -hmm. test it. Now, it is naturally produced in various foods at reasonably high concentrations, such as in milk mm -hmm. um, and garlic, mm -hmm. um, egg whites, but uh, yeah, so there was no, no real other supply of it. And that's well, we're talking about reasonably high concentrations. Mm. One would have to consume a significant amount of that food. That's right. To, to get that level of gamma glutamyl system. That's right. If you want to overcome mm. you know, something that's gone wrong, yes. You know, so. But it's probably not practical no. to consume yeah, so. 100 eggs, <clears throat> unless you're cool head. Yeah, Luke, no, no, that's right. So. 100 eggs. Yeah, so, uh, so 20 years ago, I thought, oh, well, I want to test this. Uh, I, I can't actually go and extract it out of nature because any, any gamma glutamyl cysteine that's because we're all producing it. You're producing heaps of it right now, but it all gets converted into glutathione. So there's no source I can go and extract it out. I can't go and extract it, extract it out of yeast. So where can I where can I find it? And my first idea was to take yeast. It makes glutathione. It's just, that's where all glutathione comes from sure. anyway on the market. And uh, we um, stopped that second enzyme, that enzyme that turns gamma glutamyl cysteine into um, uh, glutathione. And uh, and we could make it that way, but we, it wasn't you know that. Um, efficient. So you know, we developed another way of doing it. 